Hi, and welcome to the Assemblines Podcast. I'm Chris Torrance. So today I want to do a video review of Daniel Liverani's Genius. This is part two of the game. So part one came out about a year ago, and if you recall, it was a really exciting, fast-paced game. So today, let's take a look at part two. Just like any good Apple II game from back in the day, Genius 2 comes with a Ziploc baggie containing the manual and the disc, as well as a couple stickers. Just like in part one of the game, you play the part of Genius, a small boy who gets trapped into a dream world where he has to try to escape by going to various toy warehouses and unlocking all of the locks and finding all the treasures. Just like in part one, part two has a total of 80 levels divided up into eight separate parts of 10 levels each. The game works on any Apple II Plus, 2E, 2C, or 2GS with 48K and it runs on DOS 3.3. The game supports both keyboard and joystick as well as having mocking board support. So one thing you'll notice right away about Genius 2 is that it takes a long time to load. And this is because Daniel decided to use DOS 3.3 instead of ProDOS, uh, primarily for nostalgia reasons. Although I kind of wish he had maybe gone with a uh, faster loader. All right, so there's the story and you can hear the music coming out of the mocking board, which sounds really nice. For those of you that don't know, Daniel is also a, a accomplished guitarist. So let's go ahead and we'll hit the space bar and we'll start to play. All right, so the object of Genius 2 is to collect all of the keys to be able to get through the doors and then finally to escape, and you have a time limit. So I just collected the first key, and oh, you can see I ran into one of those bad guys there. So the trick with this game is to memorize the pattern, and then once you've done that, you can actually play the next levels that much faster. All right, so you can see here we are in level two, and this looks very similar to level one, except it's just more complicated. So again, we've got a key up here, we go down, and now that actually opens up this door up here, and so you can see the door turns white, and we gotta watch out for that bad guy there. And now we've collected another key, so we can go down and we can open this door, and watch out for that guy. Ah, he ran into me. So as you progress through the game, you see, okay, so here's a stick of dynamite, and so when I do that, that blew up all of the bad guys and opened the doors. So now I can just go in here and collect this last little beastie, and I finished the entire level, so I get bonus points. So now we're up to level three, and so the game is actually a lot of fun because once you've memorized the pattern, you can very quickly go through each level. So the trick with this game is to try to complete the levels as quickly as possible to get the largest bonus. And that's complicated when you have all these other monsters. But if you do, okay. And you can see there, now I've blown up all the monsters. Now I still can't get the key, ah, because it's in the water. So here's a case where the key is down in the water and I'll get the extra treasure. And now I can finally go in and get the last balloon there. All right, so that concludes our video review of Daniel Liverani's Genius 2. And overall, I think it's a really fun game. It's enjoyable to play. There's a lot of different levels. Uh, so it never gets tired. There's all sorts of new beasties that keep showing up and making things interesting and it has a lot of variety. Uh, it also makes use of the mocking board if you have one of those so you have nice sound to it. 
Uh, there were a couple of quirks that I found, so I couldn't get the keyboard to work on my Apple II Plus, and I'm just wondering if this is maybe a consequence of the Videx uh, enhancer that I have attached to my keyboard, or if it's something strange with the II Plus. Um, it also froze on me one time, so that was a little bit strange. So there may be a couple little lingering bugs, uh, but overall it's not a big deal. I like the fact that you can save the game and come back to it later because 80 levels is a lot to go through. So overall, great job, Daniel, and thanks again for creating such an awesome game, and we'll look forward to the next installment. So thanks for watching.